Hey, ghoul, hey, it's me, Dark Ephemera, Dark Arts and Crafts, and welcome to the Great Halloween Hunt 2021. When I'm filming this, it's towards the middle of July. Hopefully I'll have it posted very soon uh, so that it's not too outdated. But I've been going to various stores looking to see who has Halloween items available. And then you and I are going to look at them in a quiet ASMR kind of way. All right. So Halloween is, of course, a little over 100 days from now. Uh, and a lot of stores start putting their stuff in. Some stores like Target have a back to school time and then they transition to Halloween once that's over. A lot of stores like Michael's and Joann's are having their summer clearance sale. And once that's over, they'll start putting things in. You could also go online and look at a lot of places. They'll have their Halloween stuff online. Maybe not available, but certainly uh, you can see it. You can plan for it. You could save your money for it because some of the decorations can get a little pricey. And whatever your budget is, let's take a look at where I went. So, the first place I went was a store that I've never really been to called At Home. And my friend David and I, we went Halloween hunting to At Home. The reason why I started with that is because they actually had some Halloween stuff out. And also because I'd never been there, I thought maybe this would be stuff that I'd never really seen before. So let's start with the first item that I grabbed. This is listed as a salad plate. Pretty nice, pretty heavy. It is $5. I'm gonna round up. Um, and the reason why I grabbed this first was because my goal for this year, for 2021 Halloween, is to um, is to replace all of my everyday dishware with Halloween themed dishware. So I just got one of these, but it's awesome. I suspect that sauce or something would pool in these. <laughs> but it's a nice plate. It has a little curve to it. And a beautiful definition of a skull. And also in that slightly off-white skull-like. Yeah. Next up, one of my favorite things in the world is a fake book. A fake book that is in reality a box. Now Michael's has a lot of things like this, but this is actually really, really good quality. It's lined with cloth. It's got an excellent, um, this is actually made of wood and actually has texture. A little magnet. The spine doesn't say anything, which is a little odd. But this was nine dollars. Um, the other kind of odd thing was this was literally the only book that I saw. There were no others. Like I thought usually you have different sizes, different colors, different sayings. But I love a, a fake book. And this is actually really nice looking. It really does look like a book. 
especially with all that. Sorry. Awesome. Next up, something a little creepy. This is a candle. I love the decor, the design. And when you light the candle, the eyes bleed out. Bleeding candle. So I think the red wax is a little softer than this. And this is also painted. I honestly don't want to burn this. It's so gorgeous. But I might at some point, just for the heck of it. So beautiful. I like the Dio de las Muertas flower design. That's why I liked it so much. Beautiful. Creepy. Again, $10 at home. Also in the candle range, I'm not sure how well these will work. A set of four tea lights, seven dollars, that also will bleed. These will be more likely to burn because they're not that interesting, but I think they're cute. All right. I'm gonna leave this one tea light out because I have a tea light holder next. Isn't he adorable? It's a pumpkin. It's a spider. It's a pumpkin. It's a spider. He has melted candy corns for eyes. He's a tea light holder. This is quite um, heavy glitter. And it was six dollars. Also at home, they had these electric tea lights. And what I like about them is that they flicker. These are great flicker. But, hmm, 
a squeeze, but it just fits in there. <laughs> so adorable. Wow, so adorable. <laughs> Fantastic. Glitter everywhere. Okay, let's do one more thing. So they have these little milk bottle sippy cups. They were $2. Uh, there was a cat. There were other things. I don't know, a pumpkin, a skull. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Halloweeny things. I got this adorable cat with fangs. Okay. So um, I went online to the at home to see if I could buy some of this stuff. Uh, online, get it mailed to me, but they didn't have it uh, as a, something that could be shipped. So I had to go to the store, and the one thing that I was really looking forward to getting, and I got it, was this magnificent piece. Hold on. so dirty. I apologize. I didn't clean it out. It's the same adorable cat. It's a huge um, candy dish. The tail is the handle. Holy cow. There was only like two or three left. This was clearly a hot product. It's got a pedestal bottom. Seventeen dollars. Focus. It's seventeen dollars. I gotta put bananas in here. I'll make it a fruit bowl for sure. And this is uh, clearly the same cat. Oops. I, of course, love black cats. My own black cat, Giles, is off to the side supervising this video. He has yet to make an appearance, which is fine. Okay, so, to summarize, uh, mid to late July 2021, the store is called At Home. You could see a lot of these things on their website, but as of this moment when I'm filming this, you can't buy it from their website. Uh, there were other dishes along this line there were other skulls in various states. There was one that was covered in beads, not candles, just like skull sculptures. Uh, but this bleeding candle and 
these little ones and also a large one that looked like this white one. But this one I got because it's so beautiful. So miniature candles. This adorable little pumpkin spider candle holder. Oh, he doesn't fit in there. Ooh, creepy. You can also get light up tea lights if you don't want to mess around with actual fire candles. And I love that these flicker. And the beginning of my collection of dinnerware. It's Halloween related. <clears throat> this little milk cup, milk jug. One fake book, though I wish there were more. And a whole bunch of these tea lights. So, there were a lot of things. Uh, also, considering getting a spoon rest that looks like a skeletal hand. They did not have that in the store, either sold out or they hadn't put it up yet. Um, there's also uh, bristly mat uh, rugs, uh, you know, the uh, like a greeting rug for the front of your door, all bristly so that you can clean your feet on it. Now, I, I don't really have a front porch per se, uh, but I'm going to want to get one of those so that Giles, my cat, can scratch it up because I think it's a great bristly thing and I think he might really like it. So, I think that's it. Uh, and at the beginning of this video, I said, hey, ghoul, hey, which is the, the call of the Halloween hunters. So if you're out and about hunting for Halloween looking for that spirit of Halloween store that's about to open, looking for the latest and greatest uh, spooky town items from Michael's, whatever it is you're looking for, just shout out, hey ghoul, hey, and everyone will come a-running. So I think uh, I had a few other things from other stores, but I think this video is just going to be about at home and a few things that I got from there. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got a little ASMR out of it. And as always, this is Dark Ephemera saying, Happy Halloween. Mm -hmm.